Hello Synapse CICD fans, my name is Rui Cunha and I'm a support escalation engineer on the Azure Synapse Analytics team. Welcome to this video series on Synapse CICD. In this video, we will be covering the continuous integration process for your dedicated SQL pools. We will show you how you can integrate your Visual Studio database project with the Git repository so you can bring all the changes in your objects to a Git branch. Then we will set up a DevOps pipeline to build a snapshot image of your database so you can then deliver these changes to a target environment in your continuous delivery process. Let's watch the demo and see how you can achieve this. Well, Synapse Studio is one of the client tools that you can use to interact with your dedicated SQL pools, develop your code, create tables, views. As we are integrating the workspace with the Git repository, you can store all this code in your Git branch. Now the challenge comes when you want to deploy these changes from your development SQL pool to a UAT pre-prod or prod SQL pool. You want to propagate all changes across the environments. And in this kind of scenarios, you can use a Visual Studio solution to achieve that. I will start by creating a new SQL Server database project. My Synapse SQL pool project. I will create my project. So the goal here in this scenario is to use SSDT, the SQL Server data tools, to deploy your database changes across multiple environments. Now that the project is created, I'm going to integrate this solution with my Git repository. I will start by selecting here my account, my project, and my repo. Then I will create and push to initialize the repository. You can check here Azure DevOps, repos. I have my repo here, SQL pool proj with my master branch initiated and this is the Visual Studio solution and SQL project files. I don't have any content yet related to my SQL pool because I haven't imported my SQL pool yet to the project. I will use the import database option. I will select the connection, my server name. I need to get the dedicated SQL endpoint here. I'm connecting to the dedicated SQL. And I will use my SQL admin. I will use SQL server authentication. Remember password. I will choose here the import permissions as well, import database settings, object type. I will keep this object type for a cleaner approach here. Now Visual Studio is importing the database. Hit the finish button. Everything has been important. I only have my table here. So this is being flagged as a pending add object. I need to go to Git Changes tab. And here I have my new changes. I think my table and I will commit all and push. The changes are being now pushed to my repo and I will go here. If I refresh, you will see my table. It's been updated. Now suppose that I want to add a new table. I can go to this tab, SQL Server Object Explorer, and under the database, my Synapse pool, I can add this new table. My Visual Studio table, update my database. It's now preparing the update script. I will run the update database. The update is now complete. And if we go here to the Solution Explorer, if we expand this, I can refresh, I still see my 
table the original table not my visual studio table so this change was made on the database not in your visual studio project what you can do to bring this change to your project you can use this feature here under tools menu sql server new schema comparison select your source you will select your database my synapse sql pool as your source and as your target you, you select you will select your project hit the ok and you hit the compare so you have the compare options here so you can select what kind of objects do you want to compare i will just select the tables in this scenario I'm, I know that I have created a new table, so I just want to bring this change. My new table. Here it is. Now I, I'm going to hit the update target button. And this change now will be reflected in my Visual Studio project. Next step, bring this change to my Git repo. I'm going to refresh this branch. Only my table has been pushed here to my branch. My Visual Studio table is not here yet. So I need to go here, git changes, my Visual Studio table flagged as a new object to be added. New table added my vs table and I will commit all and push I will go here and here is my new table so this was just to show you how you can integrate your Visual Studio solution with your git repo import a dedicated SQL pool make your changes and then bring all the changes to your git branch now let's start the continuous integration process what we need to do now is to create a, a pipeline a yaml pipeline go to the pipelines menu option pipelines and create my first pipeline i will start by using the class the classic editor and i will select as a source my azure repos git selecting my project my synapse project and my default branch all good continue to select the dotnet desktop option we will use the ms build task to build the deck pack applying this i will get rid of some tasks here that i don't need this fvs test publish symbol i don't need this build deck pack from my synapse pool build the solution okay it is picking up all solution files then it will copy the files to a target folder and it will publish this to an artifact that we will call drop that will be our artifact name that will contain the tag pack i'm going to hit the save and queue button save and run now this job is now queued it's now building the solution it will use the ms build it's now creating the model building the project model all good and now it will start to copy the files and publish to our artifact okay success all good deck pack was built and if we hit here the one publish one consume link you will get to the artifact drop in and here is our deck pack and this will be the outcome of your continuous integration process 
So in the next video, I will show you how you can use this deck pack in the continuous delivery for your dedicated SQL pool. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching this video. We'll be releasing more Synapse ICD videos soon. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'll catch you up on the next one. Thank you.